the light is really appalling. Okay. No. Oh, we need to find us some good light somewhere. And my battery's flashing. Okay. I might have to charge this and start this again. That is much better. I should do all my videos in here from now on. This is my brother's room. It's painted white and therefore is not sucking all of the light out of everything ever and therefore make it impossible to film. So, ah, and it's actually getting brighter. Oh well, you'll see me in the fabulous light of day, I suppose. I'm gonna put my hood up and look extra. Okay. Welcome to Monday on Les Is More. And I do remember the topic because I have my laptop right here to remind me of the questions. Let's have a look. Um, Valerie obviously sent us this when she'd had a few too many. I thought it was me that just did that, apparently not. So it's not a topic this week, it is a tip o -oc for this week. And we have to do it in the butt. The topic this week is biphobia. Biphobia. I haven't uh, heard that phrase before, but now that I think about it, it does make sense with homophobia, biphobia, or maybe Val just made it up, I don't know. But bisexuals, yes. Do I, one very important thing that we need to ascertain at the start of it, I do believe bisexuality exists and I have no prejudice against bisexual women. I don't. I believe that it is entirely possible to um, to be attracted to both sexes because especially a lot of people I know, I, I know I have a few bisexual friends and they're very into the personalities of people that they're dating rather than the, the outward appearances. So say gender would just be something that's interchangeable. Like for instance one of my friends has been out with guys and been out with girls and both of them have very similar personalities just because they have a different gender doesn't really come into it to be honest. So I do believe it exists but there are a lot of um... Let's take a breath. Um, I'm very anti girls pretending to be bisexual for male attention. I do believe for the most part that m most people on the planet have some form of bisexuality whether it's like 2% or 3% attracted to the same sex or different sex. What was I saying? Oh yes, women that make out with each other for male attention is a big faux pas with me and like I mean, I'm notorious for getting crushes on, on straight women, but if they, if they do that, then it kind of makes me lose respect for them a little bit. Like, I feel like they're... I don't know. Like, some part of me feels hurt that they would do that because I feel like they're t taking it like it's in jest, you know? Like, making out with a girl is something that's frivolous and fun and doesn't really mean anything. So, well, I suppose it depends on the circumstances. My feelings about this are quite conflicted, but still, f fake bisexuals piss me off. And there was this period in secondary school or high school or whatever where a lot of um, the alternative girls, like we'd call them like emos, I don't know what you would call them, I'm sure everywhere has emo girls. But you know, oh, sorry. Um, and they all seem to be like, hands up, I'm gay, though I'm bi or something, I like making out with women, women are so hot, blah blah blah. So, and some of them may have been genuine, some of them may not have been genuine, some of them, I, I don't know, it's just, I just find it quite suspicious that all of them, um, go out and then say they're bi, but like they never, they never act on it at all and I think it's kind of like issues I'm having at the moment like I'm I have no problem
being attracted to bisexual girls. I have no problem going out with bisexual girls and I don't for a second become threatened by the prospect of them running off with men because if they want to run off they're going to anyway regardless of which gender they're going back to. But it's nice to know whether somebody's being real with you about things. So, oh, What is the discrimination against bisexuals in the lesbian gay community? Covered that really because there's the whole are they aren't they thing which I mean I feel but I guess you could feel that way towards some lesbians I guess and are they aren't they field if they're not willing to put themselves out there but that's kind of like anti-shy people really and that's not really the message I'm trying to I'm trying to give off Da, 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 da. Taboos of being bi. I wouldn't really call it a taboo. I said being a lesbian is probably more taboo in this day and age. But yeah, I understand why lesbians would have issues with dating bisexuals and would have the the fear. But me, as an individual, wouldn't feel like that because. If they loved me, it wouldn't matter whether they could be attracted to guys or girls, they would say would stay with me. But if they didn't, then they don't, and then they're just going to leave. It doesn't really matter whether they're bisexual or not, if you get what I mean. And again, some people are kind of paranoid and may think that if you're one of those like, like jealous people, like jealous girlfriends, then I can imagine that being more common, but otherwise I don't know. Um, I think that's about it. I always say that at the end of all these videos. I think that's it. Um, I would have no problem dating a bisexual girl. I believe in bisexuality. Yeah. I think I did well. Valerie spelt her own name. Val X Ors. What is that? The iron's beeping. Why is it it's flashing? I think may may maybe I switched it on by mistake. Oops. Let's put that back. It's not like I know how to use one anyway. Okay. I'm gonna go out to the pub now. If that's okay with you. Have a good week everyone. Hopefully everyone else makes a, a video more coherent than my own but I'm getting back into the swing of things and I've decided I'm going to film my videos in here from now on because I think that's a, a much better idea and it's much, much uh, brighter and easier for you to see me. So, and there's a nice ironing board in here for me to place my camera on and it's, uh, it's a fairly decent angle and keeps it nice and flat. So, okay, technical detail aside, I'm going to the pub. Bye guys, bye, bye, bye.